Welcome to Nitro. Today, we'll go through a brief overview on some of the commonly used tools and workflows in Nitro Pro. Let's get started. When you first open Nitro Pro, you'll notice that the tools are organized into categories, similar to Microsoft Office. The Home tab shows commonly used tools from creation to conversion, as well as review. You also have the ability to customize the Home tab to feature your commonly used tools. The Convert tab helps you convert to and from PDF. The Review tab will help you comment and annotate the document, as well as run advanced tools such as Optical Character Recognition for scanned documents and the Compare feature. The Page Layout tab helps you organize your document with the use of rearranging pages, page marks, and navigation. The Forms tab helps you turn your documents into a fillable form. Share helps you email your document as well as connect to Nitro Sign. The Erase tab helps you remove content from the document with a whiteout tool as well as redaction. And Protect lets you secure your document through password and digital certificate security. We'll start by opening a document in Nitro Pro. There are a few ways to do this. We can double click a file in Windows Explorer, drag and drop it, or within Nitro Pro go to File and open our documents. I can create a new blank PDF document by going to File, New. But say my document isn't in the PDF format and I want to convert it. Well, that's easy. Again, we can simply drag and drop the file into Nitro Pro. We can right click the document into Windows Explorer and choose Convert to PDF with Nitro Pro. Or from within Nitro, going to the Create section, choosing PDF, from file and adding my files. Keep in mind that Nitro Pro also has an add-in for the Microsoft Office Suite to help you quickly convert your Office document to PDF. For all other programs, you can create PDF documents with the file print method and choosing the Nitro PDF creator. Let's go ahead and create this PDF document. Nitro will automatically open the document as soon as it's created. If we forget to add a page or would like to combine the document with another, we can use the combine tool under the home tab. I'll choose open files and I can add a cover page. I can drag and drop files from Windows Explorer as well and rearrange the files as I need. But let's backtrack because there's another way to achieve this. Seeing as I'm only wanting to combine one other file to my document that's already open, I can navigate to the Pages pane and drag and drop the file directly where I want it. This not only converts, but combines the documents together at the same time. Now, we have all the pages we need in this document. Let's take a look at editing some content. Under every tab, you'll see the Edit tool. This tool allows you to manipulate the objects within the document. We hover over the object we want to edit and Nitro will let us know what object we're focusing on with a blue border. We can click into the text objects to add or remove text. We can also move objects, resize images and delete them. If this document is created for the purpose of filling out information from others, I can use the forms tab. I can create forms by choosing the form type then dragging and dropping an area of the document where I want the form to be placed. You can go deeper into the appearance and the function of the form by right clicking and choosing properties. Let's take a look at the quick sign feature for signing documents in Nitro Pro. Under the home tab, choosing quick sign and choose create new signature. Here, we're given the option to have Nitro create a handwritten signature for us, upload our signature from a file, draw it using a mouse, or using the webcam to capture our signature. I'll use the handwritten feature in this case. We've looked at how to add content into the document. Now we'll take a look at removing it. As mentioned, the edit tool allows you to remove content. However, 
Under the Erase tab, the Whiteout tool allows you to remove sections from all object types. The other removal tool is Redaction, which is under the Protect tab with good reason. Once you redact information from your document, you're unable to retrieve it unless you open the original file. Useful for omitting sensitive information from your documents. For this document, I want to remove the company name. I could go in and redact every instance of Nitro Cars. However, with the search and redact feature, Nitro can do this in one simple step. I can choose which instance I can mark for redaction or choose all of them. Once I'm happy with the markups, I can choose apply all redactions. A prompt will appear to confirm. As I mentioned before, once removed, we cannot get the information back unless we have the original document. Let's take a look at a common scenario, working with and editing scan documents or images. As soon as I open a scan document in Nitro Pro, it will provide me with the smart tip, letting me know it's an image and it cannot be edited unless I run Optical Character Recognition, or OCR for short. Nitro's OCR is an advanced tool which allows you to take scanned documents and make it searchable or searchable and editable. I'm choosing the latter in this example. And once the process is complete, I'm able to add and remove text to the document as normal. The last topic I'd like to cover is Nitro Sign. NitroSign is Nitro's e-signature solution that offers 100% end-to-end digital document workflows from anywhere. Let's look at a simple signature request from NitroSign. With my document open, I can upload it to NitroSign using Request Signature from the Home tab. Once the document finishes uploading, my web browser will open where I can enter the recipient of the document. I'll drag and drop the fields where I'd like my recipient to enter their information and click continue. In this step, I can customize my message or CC recipients. Once I click request signature, NitroSign will let me know at the top right hand corner that my request has been sent. I can check the status of my request on the home page or under my documents. My recipients will be reminded if it goes unsigned. However, I can also send a reminder manually along with the custom message. You'll also be notified via email when your recipients view and sign the documents. With the Nitro Productivity Suite, it's never been easier to digitally transform your workspace. That's all for today. See you next time.